this beautiful bed of parsley growing behind me here. And my mum's favorite soup is parsley soup. So I'm gonna have a go at make, making some. I'll put the ingredients in the description below and I'll share the recipe with you. I've heated the pot up. We're gonna get a splash, about a good tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil in there. And in goes the butter. Getting that butter in there with the extra virgin olive oil just to add that little extra flavor. It's pretty much melted. In goes the garlic and the onions are gonna go in. I'm gonna leave that on a medium heat. I don't want to get any color on the onions. I just want to cook them until they're soft. So if necessary, just turn the heat down a little. Onions have been cooking slowly there for about six minutes and started to soften up. After about eight minutes, the potatoes that have been peeled and thinly sliced go in, followed by the vegetable stock. That's the key in there. And I've used my concentrate, which is just mixed with hot water. Bring this to the boil and we'll let it simmer for 20 minutes. Whilst it's simmering away, I'm gonna get some cracked pepper in. And I like to use pepper that I crack at the time that I want to use it, which will make it just taste that little bit fresher. And I'm gonna get just a little bit more in here than you'd expect. So don't be shy, grind on in, because that's going to give it that, just that little pepperiness which goes so well with parsley. The soup has been simmering away for about 15 minutes and those potatoes are now soft. I've got a blender ready, a ladle, and I'm going to blitz the soup up. But just before I do that, I'm going to add the parsley. With a pair of scissors, I've cut all the stalks off and I'm just going to pop the parsley in and I'm going to turn the heat off and let it sit in here for about 30 seconds before I blitz it up. It's now time to have a quick taste. Really fresh parsley flavour going on there. The potatoes giving it that silkiness. And I'm just going to add a little bit of cream now and just a touch of salt in there. I'm adding about 100 mils of cream here, saving 50, which I'm whipping up for the garnish on top at the end. If you wanted to make it really decadent, you could add a little white truffle oil on top, just a drizzle. I love about the soup that all the ingredients are incredibly affordable. I've got uh, about three garlic cloves there, a tablespoon of butter, three onions, which is about 300 grams of thinly sliced onion. I'm gonna use a tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil, good bunch of parsley, it's about 200 grams, and I've got six cups of vegetable stock, and you guys know I use the good stuff, but that is the key that your vegetable stock tastes great. Always be sure to taste it, because if that doesn't taste delicious, then oh boy, we're in trouble. I've got some cream there, about 150 mils, just to richen the soup up at the end, but that's totally optional. The potatoes are gonna give our soup the beautiful silky, Consistency. I've got about 700 grams there of potatoes, which I'll peel and slice. 